Hey, read that again. That's some foul shit. Yeah, that's very foul. Hey, Mose, nine and eight. Oh, oh yeah, read that again. Okay. You read them both. Read it. You already started. Hey, Mose, nine and eight. Behold, the eyes of the Lord God are upon the sinful kingdom. So America, we have just established that America is a sinful kingdom. You can't, you cannot question that. That's a fact. Keep on. And I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. Right in America. Oh, yeah, he hiding. You over there hiding. You, you can't hide from the Most High. The Most High got your ass. You've been marked. You got marked, motherfucker. Yeah. You got you in the no column. <laughs> He's a goat. Okay? He's a goat. And don't stand for greatest of all time Shit. either. A big hairy goat. Oh, they think Esau is the greatest of all time. This is Roman's uh he is, Roman. He's the greatest faggot of all time. Like Alexander the Great is faggot. But this even but even Alexander, that's a you know the word Alexander means defender of men. I don't know how the hell he got that name. He didn't defend nobody but the devil. Trying to get himself a righteous title. So he actually that's an Israelite name. They go back to uh, Paris in the Battle of Troy. His real name was Alexander. That's where he got it. Oh, go ahead. Okay. Romans 1 and 21. Because that when they knew the Most High, they glorified him not as the Most High. Neither were thankful. Right. They became vain in their imaginations and their foolish hearts were dark. Yeah, if your boy had a foolish heart talking about he loves America, he said America's not in the Bible. We clearly proved America's in the Bible. Then we clearly established America's a sinful kingdom. That's right. We've been doing that all day. So you ain't going to tell me. You ain't going to tell me America's not in the Bible. Did y'all know that America's in the Bible? It's going to be destroyed. Okay? Because it's a sinful kingdom. And change the glory of the corruptible power into an image made like the corruptible man. Actually, America's in the Bible multiple times. Well, I'll read that part again. I interrupted. And change the glory of the uncorruptible power into an image made like to corruptible man. Right, into yeah. Birth. Right, because motherfuckers they, like what's that script you just read they uh they fall or, they, they're more worried about what man says than what the most high says that was the yesterday yeah um and to birds and to four foot of beasts and creepy things they, they, they don't see that word america right in the bible they, they'll think that lets them off the hook well god didn't say america he don't say america right. well, uh, okay like you actually think that lets you off the hook you got your mind. Like, and like I said, the book of Revelation, all biblical scholars will tell you that Babylon is talking about Rome, okay? Because it was code word. Because John was writing the book of Revelation in, in prison. He was imprisoned by the Romans. So he wrote this, wrote this down because he mailed it out to like a letter. So he had a writing code so he ain't getting in trouble. And so he didn't get caught. And so the Roman soldiers didn't take the book of Revelations and rip it up. If he would have actually wrote Rome and America down, the, the Roman soldiers would have would have ripped the book would have ripped it up and we would have never got the book of Revelation. You know what I mean? So he had to write it in code. Wherefore the most high also gave them up to cleanliness through the lust of their own hearts. Cleanliness, eating pork, being a faggot, some weird shit. What was that? To dishonor their own bodies between themselves. You see them lights flashing on us? Oh, okay, I'm bugging out. <laughs> yeah. I thought somebody had the, uh, the sniper rifle on us. No, 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 that wasn't. It was something else. Was something else. Yeah. That's all right. They people think they're funny. That's all right, because the angels got a, got a beam on their ass. Got a beam on their ass. <laughs> <laughs> so look at which one. Uh, who's your boss? Oh, I didn't see her. Yo, that shit gave me nightmares. Huh? Oh yeah, that's the Wizard of Oz. That's how Esau is. Be, be, behind the curtain, he's just an old, wrinkled up old man. The man behind the curtain. That witch gave me nightmares. Watch that. Yeah, that's some scary shit. Did y'all hear there's an episode of Sesame Street? 
There's an episode, episode of Sesame Street that came on back in the 70s, and they had the actual witch come on, and she was old as hell. But they said it get chill, all the kids are watching together and scared of everybody's crying. That's an eating my bitch. And they said that they destroyed the tapes, and nobody can find that episode to this day. Right, right, right. Terrorize the kids. No, she was really terrifying. I mean, that that's the perfect. They got the perfect actress for that role. That bitch looks scary. I, I still got trouble watching. I, I can still get nightmares watching that shit. That bitch is scary. With the goddamn flying monkeys. What the fuck is that shit, man? These motherfuckers was on drugs when they made that. That's some freaky. That's a freaky ass movie. That's some freaky shit right there, man. You, you seen that movie or the new TV show? that's called Black Jesus. Nah, you make Jesus out to be a big they oh that's their job. They always do that. Like uh, Star, it's got Charlie Murphy in it. Oh, you know I did hear about that. They make a fun of the Lord. Yeah. And Charlie Charlie Murphy, you a big faggot, man. You know what I'm saying? Yo, yo, uh, you had <laughs> Boule niggas. Yeah, he Boule. But look, if, you know, his brother Eddie Murphy, he a big faggot. He got got caught with transvestites and all kind of shit. Somebody just give him. He said, give him a ride. <laughs> I'll make, look, if I'm gonna make anybody walk, it's gonna be a train. That's not a <laughs> Shit. You curse him out. Yeah, fuck you. Right? Give him a ride home. Yeah, that's a good one, ain't it? I just gave him a ride home. Okay. Yeah, Eddie Murphy, he's a big weirdo, man. He, he done lost all. You see, because after you've been in Hollywood for so long and suck so many dicks, you just ain't funny no more. Being a homosexual took your spirit away from you. Sure did. Because Eddie Murphy used to be the A-game. He used to be a, the, the top act. Now he ain't shit. Funny motherfucker. Yep. And all the you right, he just all of a sudden disappears like he never was. He, he was like the biggest actor out there. With the, we're in the Beverly Hills Cop and all that shit. Yeah. That was my shit. Shit, when he was on Saturday Night Live, that motherfucker was on the channel. Oh, yeah, Saturday Night. Yeah. He's doing the stand up. I fucking all these fucking ass comedians. I can't stand the way a big motherfucking smile with him. I hate it. You, could, you see how he fucking Tracy Morgan's fucking ass up. Oh, they fucked Tracy. Tracy Morgan, you got yes. fucked up. You got fucked up. You know how you do an inside joke? He used to do a lot of inside jokes on his interviews about fucking the fact. Yeah, that. being gay and shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you know he was telling the truth. Most People looking at it as a joke, but it's an inside out. joke. It's That's not... something Richard Pryor never hated. Richard Pryor always said he fucked the fact. He just, yeah, Richard Pryor you know, was always over with this shit, wasn't he? He never hit it. Most high hit his ass was legs too, man. Is that man, a was, man? Let him live long enough. What the fuck? <laughs> Get that on camera. What the fuck is going on here? You fucked up. What's going on with you? That cannot be fucking real. Oh, well, I just read the scriptures. Uh, uh, so you're going to tell me that's more proof America is in the Bible? Right. Right there. Did you see that shit? What the fuck was that? What the? He looked like you Harry Farrell in drag. Everybody here is a witness saw that, man. Everybody, because it's nighttime now. They it's both they they safer now. Oh wow! You know, that's a big wow. He was doing some weird shit. He was on drugs too. He was like going like this with his hands. And then he looked like for the porno for Pyro dude or James it Addiction. Been it looked like it. It looked just like Perry Farrell. So what kind of niggas gonna fuck that thing down here? From, uh, this Revelation 11 and 8, and their dead bodies shall lie in the street of that great city, which spiritually is called Sodom. And Egypt, where God also damn. our Lord was crucified. Uh, you can't, you smell these bitches like 50 feet away, and it smells like a whorehouse right here. I can smell you uh, It's like super powerful. God damn, they're spraying it like right now or something. You know, I'd rather smell a woman's natural scent anyway, because they, you know, you know, here there's something called pheromones. Because the bitches hide that funk with all that perfume. Because her pussy don't smell like that, I can guarantee it. This probably smells a lot worse when you get up inside of it. You can't put no perfume on the insides now. They can try, but no. I was on this medical website the other day and it was explaining why a lot of, uh, where a lot of uh, vagina odor comes from. The number one name they name is tight jeans, tight clothing. Uh, for real? Mm -hmm. Yeah, all that sweat. 
Yeah, you're supposed to got a got some got an air gotta get up in there. Have I me mean, not friction, air. <laughs> Shit. That's why if you're a man, you shouldn't be worried be trying to smell all good. I was watching this dude's video on YouTube and he was saying that it was this a uh, white dude, but he's a Jake. He's an artist. And he, he's kind of out of his mind. He's kind of crazy. <laughs> but he was saying, <laughs> he said, man, I don't wear no deodorant, no nothing. He's like, this smells like sex. I'm gonna put this in a bottle and sell this shit. But that's true, because bitch, bitches are more attracted to your natural smells than that fake shit. I ain't doing a lot of funky at Well, I'm not talking about being funky. <laughs> I'm not saying be funky. I'm talking about you ain't supposed to be trying to be like a woman putting all them sweet smells on yourself. Making yourself, cause you know how you got metrosexuals. You got men uh, wearing all that perfume and shit. That's fucking gay, man. And a woman really ain't attracted to that. Women like like a man after he's been working all day. You know what I mean? Women like that shit. They be like, oh, you smell like a man. You know what I mean? I've had a bitch say that before. Oh, you smell like a man. <laughs> Cause a bitch, a bitch like a man like coming out of war, blood all over him and shit, all dirty. Bitches Work like, bitches like that shit, man. They don't. A woman don't want a man that smells like a woman, wearing all them chemicals and shit. I wear oils. Oh yes. Yeah. I like smell. But the Bible talks about the oils. Yeah, because the, these women these days, they wear all these uh, perfumes. You don't know what it's made out of. In the Bible, in Genesis, like Esau, describes Esau was like an outdoor. He smelled like an outdoor. He smelled like an outdoor. He smelled like a... Uh, Jacob didn't smell like outdoors. He had to smell of bear's ass on him. <laughs> he was molesting all them animals. What's that urine they sprayed? Oh, yeah, that, it's a urine. <laughs> he, he, <laughs> that's how I can... They actually do that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they get, they, yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, there's a certain animals. Actually, they probably got viewers specimens for every goddamn animal. They do, they do. Mm -hmm. He's so weird, man. He is weird. He's so weird, man. He's like a weirdo. He is a weirdo. We got proof. We just seen one walk by dressed in drag. What the fuck is that shit? shit. Real I see the light. They put the light on us. We, we lit up. Oh, yeah. That's the truth. We lit up. That's the number 13. We shine. That's number 13. That's a, You know, 13 is a lucky number. And see, in the, in the Satan society, they tell you 13 is an unlucky number. There's no building that has a 13th floor. It's an unlucky number for Esau? Yeah, but it's Esau's unlucky number. Because remember the, the devil worshiping Knights Templars. They got kind of worse than Satan. And so uh, uh, King Philip of France burned their asses up at a stake and killed them. Uh, that's true, too, about the 13. But really, they hate the number 13 because that's the 12 disciples plus the Lord. That's 13. So they say 13, of course, is unlucky to them. You know what I'm saying? That represents the Lord and his disciples. So they, they hate that number. They stay away from that number. You know what I mean? They, they like the number nine for some reason. It's close to six. Yeah, it's the six. <laughs> they use the number eight a lot too. They use any number but 13 and seven. Hey <laughs> Blaze. <laughs> Fucking weirdo, man. Hey Blaze, boy. You can tell when it's. Fucking weirdo. They be fucking the shit out of their best friends, man. Oh, see man. They be fucking the shit out of each other, man. Years later, they have their humans. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they do, because the Boule meets up every year in Atlanta. They said they have a reunion. You know? They're old, they're Boule. That's a reunion. You know, they're, uh, that's a reunion. What's up, Esau? The Boule. <laughs> I know Esau's spirit. It ain't going. I'm not going by appearance, I'm going by a spirit. Spirit. I can feel his presence. The Satan. That's a, That's a Gilligan eagle. What's up, Gilligan? <laughs> <laughs> Shit, the real Gilligan is probably a Jake though. Yeah, he yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, you know Skipper definitely a Jake. What's your boy Skipper on Gilligan's Island? Yeah, they probably they all yeah. each other. Yeah, because Gilligan ain't get no pussy. Well, you got Marianne and um, They weren't even trying to fuck that bitch. Who's other name? 
the, the movie star? I can't remember. Ginger. I ain't watched it. Ginger, Mary, Mr. Howe was in his life. He's the whole cast. Mr. Oh. Mr. Howe, he had uh, he had his wife. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I used to love the Gilly. Oh, I, well, I ain't seen it since I was little. And Professor's faggot ass was always. Oh, alone. he's making some shit. Yeah, he's probably making pocket pussies and shit. <laughs> <laughs> look, 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 look. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> That's crazy, man. Fucking faggot. See, man. The most high sending all kind of examples out here. Just a simple kingdom. Well, we ain't lying, man. You see this weird ass shit? I, that's, I, I got the script. Look, you got these fine. I got my finger these, right there in it. You got all these fine ass women out here, and they want to go fuck another man in the asshole. Mm -hmm. Well, they probably go down to each other too. Oh yeah, the, the women they probably lesbians. Man, this shit is out of order, man. Way out of order. We got this one. This is some of the finest women in this whole state right here. On campus. Country, country boom. It, it's hard to teach out here sometimes because of all the women. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it, there's some fine ass hoes out here. Country boom bunkers too. Sometimes uh, I gotta, like, hey boy, we gotta stop, <laughs> stop looking at the women. Sometimes you gotta check yourself. Yeah. Like, Thank yep. God I'm wearing a garment. Mm -hmm. Like, let's stick to the scriptures. Yep. Yep. Because the women yep. are causing yep. this. You can't think straight because there's so many fine ass hoes out here. Yep. Let me read this. Here you go. Check this out, man. This, I'm back in Romans again, 1 and 24 now. Where the folk most high also gave them up to uncleanliness through the lust of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. Yeah, that's talking about homosexuals. Who changed the truth of the most high, Yahweh, into a lie and worship and serve the creature more than the creator? Number seven. Seven, what y'all know about seven? We open all day like 7-Eleven. We teach and learn and study all day like 7-Eleven. See, there you go again getting distracted by the scripture. We looking at women. It's, that's why it's wicked ass women. Yeah. Wicked ass, wicked ass women, man. Who check for this call? Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai gave them up into vile affection. Yeah, a uh, uh, man having sex with another man, that's a vile affection. That's disgusting. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. That's talking about you lesbians. There's over half you women these days are lesbians. Okay, that's an abomination. Okay. Just, just like them two women <laughs> they got impregnated by that black baby. <laughs> That's the most I got they ass. They probably paid like five, ten G's for this part. They got your ass. Got them. <laughs> Angels up there cracking up. Yeah, they cracking up. <laughs> they the ones that did it. Yeah, they yeah. like, you said I got that bitch. Yeah. They up there like giving them the rock. The angels, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Give me some of that. How funny is that? Both of them? I'm like, damn. Only an angel can do some shit like that, man. And likewise also, the men. <laughs> and likewise also, the men. This is talking about you faggots, you homosexuals. Leaving the natural use of the woman burned in their lust one toward another, men with men. Men with men. Working that which is unseemly. Yeah, another man having sex with another man is unseemly. That's a, an abomination. Okay? And the Most High is going to destroy you. And receiving in themselves that recompense of their own, of their error, which was meat, and even as they did not like to retain oh, the Most High in their oh, knowledge, no. the Most High gave them over to a reprobate mind. Yeah, being a homosexual means that you're a reprobate. That means you avoid a judgment, okay? There's something wrong with your fucking brain. You got all these fine ass women out here, and you wanna go fuck another man in the ass. Something's seriously wrong with you. And there's homosexuals everywhere. Everywhere you look is a goddamn homo dressed in fucking drag. To do those things which are not to do. Like I said, it, 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 what, these fine ass hoes are everywhere. So why the hell would you want to go up in a man's doo doo filled asshole? That doesn't make no fucking sense. That make no goddamn sense. Being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, confessiousness, maliciousness, full of envy. Murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whisperers, backbiters, 
haters of the Most High. Yeah, they hate the Most High. They admit it too. They say hail Satan. The spiteful, proud, proud. boasters, inventors of evil things. The biggest. Oh, yeah. Disobedient to parents. Yeah, your parents. When your parents raised you, they told you not to be a faggot, and y'all wasn't busy. You know what I mean? That's why. That's why they, they, they have something called they got to stay in the closet. They don't want to get disowned by their family. But you deserve to be disowned. Or on the down low. Oh, yeah, on the down low. Without understanding. So the gang's delicious. Uh, right. Remember that, what that uh, what's that, Boondocks cartoon? Y'all seen that? The gang's yeah. delicious? Homie over hoes. Yeah, homie over hoes. <laughs> Without understanding, covenant breakers. Without natural affection. Implaceable and immersive. Yeah, cause you have you noticed too, like the, especially uh, the Jake homosexuals. They're like real rude, loud people. You ever notice that? They just be evil too, it's man. Kind of they always want to fight you if you call them a faggot. Like, I know you didn't. The channel on um, HGT. HGT. You, um, yeah, there's a show called The House Hunters on there. You watch that, man, and I'm telling you, every other episode, it got faggot couples buying homes, man. That's just an abomination. My homes making with a budget of a budget of uh, half a million dollars. You know, but they, they pushing black, that shit, they man. Black faggots too, man. They having high budgets. Like what? That, it, man. It's the they use that TV to brainwash people. Mm -hmm. That's where if it wasn't for the TV, you wouldn't even have all these faggots. If it wasn't for that motherfucking goddamn TV, there wouldn't be as much adultery. There wouldn't be as much crime. Okay, the TV is Satan. Okay, it's the motherfucking devil. Don't what, they call, what do they call when you? Uh, what do they call TV stations? Uh, program? They, they they program you, and it's a behind the TV on the other end is a little Jew bastard going pinch <laughs> <laughs> over there, yeah, programming your ass. A devil worshiping fake Jew programming your ass, and they doing a good job at it, man. That movie Caesar or Berger, Anderson, Bergeron, or something. Harrison Bergeron. Yeah, Harrison Bergeron, they show you on that movie. How, how they, 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 they program you, they make everybody stupid. How? Well, they've been doing psychological and mental studies on the human brain for years anyway. To understand how it thinks and how it They use psychology on it. Psych that's what I was looking for, psychology. Yeah. Yep. Well, Sigmund, Sigmund Freud, Sig Sigmund Freud, <laughs> Sigmund Freud, he, uh, Freud, he was a so-called Jew. Okay, because the so-called Jew is a devil. The biggest piece of shit on the planet. The so-called Jew owns Hollywood. And they're the ones that's producing all this filth in Hollywood. They promote adultery. They promote homosexuality. Okay, they, they promote, uh, promote devil worshiping, murder, Israelite power. And we ain't on that black power shit, okay? He said black power. <laughs> he said black power. He look like Damon Wayans. Yeah, he has a lot of black look, Looking like, uh, looking like motherfucking Major Pain and shit. <laughs> <laughs> look like Dave Chappelle. <laughs> oh, yeah. I right, read that scripture. You know, the Holy Bible say you're supposed to put a faggot to death. Okay, read that. The big kids, 20 and 13. If a man also lie with mankind as he lied with the woman, Abomination. I wait till that bus go by. We'll read it again. Go on, motherfucker. Take your ass down the road. Oh, it's a red light. I'll just read it. Leviticus 20 and 13. If a man also lie with mankind as he lieth with the woman, both of them have committed an abomination. The blood shall be upon them. Or they shall surely be put to death. The blood shall be upon them. Yes. I mean, I... Read it one more time that we get that bus here. The big is 20 and 13. So, it, so you can never read this scripture enough times. It's, a, it's always good to read a scripture multiple times, okay? Sometimes it's good to just read the same scripture over and over and over again. Because these people right here didn't get it here. Okay, read it. If a man also lieth with mankind as he lieth with the woman, both of them have committed an abomination. 
Their blood they shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. And that's clear, okay? The Bible says faggots are supposed to be put to death. Obviously, we're not going to go killing faggots, okay? Oh, yeah. Because it's not ever going to happen. But people... But the Most High will forgive you of any sin except for the blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. But like I said, it's not likely a faggot will ever stop being a faggot. I don't I think. Truly, truly doubt the elected man faggots too. Right? Yeah, I, I highly doubt that. You know what I'm saying, yeah. But I'm just putting it out there. Right. You know what I mean? Because uh, yeah, because we ain't out here to wake up faggots, okay? <laughs> <laughs> that don't even make no sense, does it? Right. <laughs> I mean, that's why the Lord, uh, like in America, uh, he spiritually called America Sodom in Egypt. I'm talking about having a disdain for something when you see something. Man. Yeah, there ain't no safe. I mean, come on, man. Because you got people actually out there, you know, cater to homosexuals. Half these churches, they get their preachers are faggots now. Literally. Trust me, I know. Okay. I've been up in a lot of these churches. And they have homosexuals in their congregations and on the pulpit teaching the Bible. Actually, have, have, most of the people in them churches are all faggots. That bitch, man, see, these women are very distracting. Motherfucking titties are so goddamn big. I just bitch with a little titty bigger than Dolly Parton. Goddamn. <laughs> see, that's why, man, you hoes gotta cover your ass up, man. I can't, it's even hard. You be out here teaching all these women walk around half naked. It's like we in the middle of a porno video teaching the Bible. You know what I'm saying? That's confusing. That's why the Lord called it Sodom. You ain't supposed to have women to walk around like that, man. That's out of order. It's when you see a big fat, when you see a big ass muscular faggot. Oh, yeah. The transvestites be all muscular. Mm -hmm. I, I see them on a coda bus all the time, man. Yep. I'll be riding the bus, and this big, strong fucking faggot get on the bus wearing a dress. Right. Talking about, how you doing, baby? What you call it when they on the football team? College and high school, especially white schools, the suburb schools, they do a haze up. Yep, they hey, they fuck each other in the ass. Yep, yep, yep. It's always some suburb schools and colleges. Hell, for football, do it to the rookies. They, they do that here. Yep, yep, that's popular. And when you be a, uh, if you want to become part of the Ohio State Buckeyes football team, they're gonna pin you down and they're gonna fuck you in the ass. That's part of your initiation. So right. I've seen a picture on Facebook. They made the Cincinnati Reds, all the rookies on the team, dress up in girls' clothes. See? Mm -hmm. yeah. They was making the NFL players wear pink. Yeah. Over yeah. that uh, They're still doing it. domestic still doing it. shit. Still doing making it. them wear, I refuse to wear that shit. You see that nigga that dread that he got a uh, pink dreadlocks. Oh, fuck. <laughs> they got pink dreadlocks. Look, as soon as you said, the dude wearing a pink shirt, get out on camera. So that's the most odd. See? Well, half these faggots up here wear pink anyway. It's like popular for these faggots to wear pink now. Pink dreadlocks. That's gangsta delicious, like your boy Cameron. <laughs> he, he, he brought that out. Was that back in the 90s or early 2000s? <laughs> in the 90s, yeah. Yeah, yeah Cameron. Making a popular. He was here in Columbus a lot. Yeah, he was. Yeah. He was rapping about Columbus. Is he? I don't know, but he did. He rapped about Columbus. I don't know. You know who Cameron is. He had he had that. He had that. I just remember he had some bad beats though. That beat was pretty good. That shit from purple. That purple haze. Purple haze. Was pretty good. He was okay. He was okay. Yeah, but he's a big faggot though. I mean, if you're wearing pink, bro, come on, man. Remember that YouTube video he had? He was trying to say he wasn't. Well, yeah. Oh shit! Did you see that video about your boy from uh, Fifty Cent's crew? What's his name? What, what's all their names? You know all their names? Well, when 50 oh, Cent first 50 came out, he had a uh, G unit. G unit. What's all the G unit dudes names? Lloyd Banks. Lloyd Banks. Uh, Yayo. But I, I seen one of the dudes. I think it was Yayo, maybe. I can't remember. Young Buck. But, it, but one of the dudes was on there. He got the first dude to get kicked out. Who's the first one to get kicked out? Well, one of them was like, get on YouTube, you'll find the video. You're the one that talks like he's from down south because he's from uh, Tennessee. Or and he was like, look, he's like, I got kicked out because I wouldn't 
for get fucked in the ass. He's like, <laughs> he's like, look, I don't like butt fucking other dudes to get fucked in the ass. I heard that. He's like, and I told yeah, y'all. had a been going. It's like I told you that there was four of them, wasn't there? Yeah, Yayo was in prison for a long time. And then that, he's like, I told you, I think it was, what's the one that's still with him? That's crazy. I don't Lloyd know. Banks. What, yeah, he said, I, he's like, Lloyd Banks is the only one that's still going to be with him because he's the only one that would, that, that would keep taking it in the ass. He's like, I like, he's like, yo, I like pussy, yo. That porn star, that, that, that porn star nigga, uh, uh, that fucked up, uh, Dolores Fishburne's daughter. Oh, yeah. Uh, was, he's real close to them. He's real close to them. Uh, yeah, Lauren Humper. Lauren Fishburne's a weird like guy. He's Wait, real weird. He, he has a foul spirit. He's been around Esau too much. Too, yeah, he has a foul <laughs> spirit. Too much. Well, he grew up in Hollywood. When you were in Hollywood that long, you know, it, you know, it's over. The Lawrence Fishburne was in a, a Apocalypse Now back when he was a teenager. I remember, uh, 70, 71, yeah. 72, Cornbread Hill. No, he's been in Hollywood for a long time. He was a kid, dude. He was yeah. a kid. He was raised in it. He was raised getting raped. Uh, pink truck. Looks like it. Probably a big ass black dude driving a pink truck. <laughs> this gang's delicious, this nigga. These <laughs> <laughs> motherfuckers ain't shit, man. Shit. Y'all want to call that a rap? That cat. Curses. Shit, we been cur putting curses up all day. So that's it, man. We about to get up out of here. Yo, you just turn that shit off. I, I forgot to turn it off. Just hit the button on the side right here.